Despite the growing popularity of Alberta's original microbrewery, Big Rock still stays true to their original goal, to brew deliberately different beer using the best ingredients. This is in part thanks to their dedicated brewmaster, Paul Gautreau. When I took over as brewmaster almost nine years ago is when I introduced our smaller brewing system and yeah. we were able to do different beers like Scottish and a Roche beer and, and, and work with other ingredients. When Bob Sarter came in three years ago, he gave me the keys to do whatever I wanted to do. Paul has recently partnered with Elise Watson, founder and head beekeeper at Apiaries and Bees for Communities, to set up their own hives. Because our goal is community outreach and education, we are very selective with the companies that we choose to work with, and they're a part of our Bees for Communities program. We manage the bees for them, but those honeybee hives are used for educational programming, and in return, they get 100% of the surplus, and then ABC has the resource of quite substantial apiary for people to learn and see a diversity of outcomes within a colony. As soon as she introduced me to the world of the honeybee, I was fascinated, I'm still fascinated, and, and pushing to get this whole thing even stronger. Elise and Big Rock have recently expanded from three to six beehives at Big Rock headquarters. The honey they harvest is used in some of their seasonal brews. Our goal is really to produce some honey so that Big Rock can produce these small batch brews out of things that they're growing because they have a strong stewardship toward farms and Big Rock has a long history in Alberta of supporting that. So the partnership between Big Rock and Apiaries and Bees for Communities has been a match made in heaven, really. Yeah, she could be anywhere in this beehive. She's in this box there, so we'll find her. Right there, bottom right-hand corner, she's moving towards the middle. Right, she right yeah, there. Yeah, that's her. You yeah. got her.